Hey everyone, welcome back to another Painting with Jay. As always, my name is Jay, so grab a brush, grab some models, grab some paints, and paint along with me. Let's rid our world of unpainted models. As always, this video is brought to you by my Patreon campaign. Link in the description below if you want to support my videos. Shout out to Cody Rue. Adam, you missed a spot. So it's been a little while. I haven't been painting very much lately, and that's okay. I've just been having some personal stuff, but it's... Yep, yeah, we're going to talk about some stuff today. And it's okay. So it is Orktober. It's officially Orktober. No better way of spending Orktober than painting a Space Marine drop pod. I'm still on my Space Marines. I didn't meet my deadline of finishing before the uh, before October. I have two models left. I'm finishing up this drop pod, and then I have a Land Speeder Storm that I really don't want to touch. But I'm going to paint it anyway. That's the thing about the painting challenge. You just got to keep painting, and you got to get through some models you don't really want to paint, so you eventually get the models you do want to paint. It's a reward. So, let's get started. Yes. All right, so we're back. Look at this. It's a drop pod. Woo, drop pod, yay! I'm in the, the home stretch of my painting Space Marines. Uh, just this model and that Land Speeder Storm in the background, which I have started. Um, these are two models that I don't really use very often, as you know by my videos. And I've been playing a little bit of Space Marines lately. I, I haven't filmed that many battle reports lately. Um, I've played them a couple times in the new Space Marine rules. I think they're cool. Uh, so right now I'm just going to take some non-oil and shade these little areas along the sides. Um, a drop pod is not a vehicle I would use a lot, to be honest, just because uh, I don't play normal Space Marines very often. Maybe fill it with scouts or something. I don't know. But uh, I got a painting up. You know, I'm painting up all my models. And that includes this drop pod. Now, as I said, drop pods have changed since the new Codex. They're cool, but you can only put normal Space Marines in them, right? You can't put uh, Primaris Marines in a drop pod. And so, yeah. Uh, people have been asking me lately, am I going to buy an Executioner? Maybe. To be honest, I don't know. To me, if I was playing in some tournaments and it was competitive, yeah, maybe the double Executioner. My dream list, I think, would have two Executioners and three Vindicators. That'd be a pretty scary um, list. I did paint up a Space Marine Vindicator. I have one done. Uh, I just, I'm not buying new models, right? I'm trying to get all these models painted. And so I'm not buying, I'm, I'm painting. And that's okay. And then one day when I'll you know, I'll be done. Now there's a new Imperial Fist model coming out who looks awesome with his gigantic fist of doom, basically. Maybe I'll buy him. Um, I've been pretty good lately. I've not bought many models. And as you can see, I've been painting a good amount. You know, I'm painting Space Marines for the last about five, four or five months. Four months. You know, on and off four and five months. I think it's since May. And, uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be good, you know. If I I might pick him up, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I've been busy. Um, it's been a chaotic last three or four weeks. Just some personal stuff. Um, yeah, that's okay. Life. Yeah, but uh, that's okay. I'm gonna get back to making some videos. Yep, for you all. Um, yeah, that's what I wanna do. I haven't made that many videos lately, but that's okay. I've set up my new gaming table It's way too. I set up a, my new gaming table recently, so that's cool. Um, it's just a little higher than my old one, but it's a lot of fun. I played a game with, against Dave on it recently. Um, that was really good. It's starting to feel like autumn. It really is. Uh, we're in October, so autumn is here. Of course, the leaves are falling. Um, Thanksgiving, Canadian Thanksgiving is right around the corner. It's this upcoming weekend. It's Canadian Thanksgiving. Um, 
Americans celebrate their Thanksgiving in late November. Canadians celebrate their Thanksgiving in mid-October. So for us, it goes Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas. Then it goes, you know, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh, which is cool. I like our, you know, both of them are cool. Uh, of course, they have Black Third, Black Friday. Cool. So as you can see, no oiled all four sides. Um, now I'm just going to drop the doors and start painting all these little, all the symbol along this thing. I'm gonna paint that bronze. I decided I'm gonna do bronze just to add another color to the system. Um, and uh, yeah, as like I said, I, this get this model is pretty far along. Uh, after today's painting session, I'm hoping I don't have too much left. I'm just gonna grab my palette here. Grab my palette. Uh, grab some brass scorpion. So I'll paint it brass actually. Um, yeah, it's been going pretty well. And as I said, then next week's video, I'll this thing will be done, and I will be. Uh, starting my next army. I'm oh, sorry, not after this thing. Sorry, I have to one more model, the Lancer Storm, which is an annoying model. I'm there's a reason why I haven't painted it. I'm just going to use a big brush and paint. Uh, Here, let that shade dry for a sec. Yep, it's definitely feeling like autumn. Um, yeah, I went up for a hike uh, last weekend. Last week, just uh, last weekend, just for a day in Algonquin, which is a big provincial park, um, a couple hours north. That was good. See the leaves change color. Yeah. It's been a, a sort of really busy and uh, challenging last few weeks. But that's okay. I am looking forward to Thanksgiving. I'm working this weekend. Uh, but I have Sunday and Monday off. So I will, uh, I'm cooking the turkey. Actually, we're having my girlfriend's family over. Uh, her sister and her family, and then her par grandparent, parents and grandparents. You know, her mom and her grandparents. So that'll be good. Um, it'll be a good time. My turkey's good. I'm a big fan of my turkey. I'm a little biased. Um, yeah, I do. I love cooking turkey. Turkey's good, especially because you can kind of flavor it however you wish, and it's it's fun. It's just you know I I bought a twenty pound turkey, and uh, it's gonna t like I have to thaw it for it's a frozen one, so I have to thaw it for like five days, four day, four days I'm guessing, and then cook it. So that'll be good. I'm, uh, it's one of the larger ones I cooked. I think the largest I ever cooked was like 22 pounds. So, but you always let, it's always good to have leftovers after Thanksgiving. So, I mean, then you have leftovers and you have basically a week's worth of planned meals, which is good. Halloween stuff is in full throttle. I've been watching some horror movies. Sweat watching the way I pronounce that word, horror <laughs> movies. Um, you know, I saw, I haven't seen, I actually never saw it, but I saw the most recent Saw movie uh, two nights ago. Uh, whatever it's called, Jigsaw, pretty sure it's called Jigsaw. Um, yeah, it's okay. They're rebooting the franchise, apparently. They're making a whole new... It's like a reboot, or it's a part of the... I don't know, it's part of the universe. 
Chris Rock's a part of it. Samuel L. Jackson. Um, I think it's coming out next year, is my guess. So, that's pretty cool. I saw one I really liked. And then it got into... Meh. Yeah. Uh, what else? Yeah, Halloween. <laughs> we don't get a lot of kids in this area. Which is unfortunate. Because I do like handing out candy. And uh, I hand out full-size chocolate bars. I'm actually one of those people. So the kids that do come are spoiled. And then after Halloween, I have 35 chocolate bars to eat. <laughs> kidding. I don't buy that many. Yep, just getting these areas painted brass. Just another color, and then I'll paint some reds as well. Maybe some coiled wiring, make it red on the inside. Just add a couple extra colors, right? This is a model that um, I, I want to get painted. It's just, it, it's on the list to get painted. And you gotta get it painted, right? It's, it, that's what I'm saying. That's the thing about challenging yourself to paint all the models of an army. You gotta paint them regardless of whether or not you want to. This is by far my least favorite model I've ever assembled as well. So drop pots, gotta love them. I'm gonna let that dry for a second and then I'm gonna start painting, uh, I'll hit it with a shade. Maybe then, uh, probably a uh, Abrax Earth Shade. Yeah, get that ready. Um, get that drying during this thing too. It's gonna take a while for this shade to dry. So while this part's drying, I will paint the reds. Let's do it. Let's paint some red. Um, yeah, Halloween, as I said. For those of you out there in internet land, do you, do you celebrate Halloween a lot? Is it a, a holiday that you really love? Like, it is fun. We, there was this pop-up store I went to last night, and it was really cool. Like a huge store. Um, here in, in Canada, we've had a few big franchises go out of business recently. And so a lot of pop-up stores are using their skeletons, as they say, to, uh, you know, and Halloween stores are one of them. So it's been cool. I'm going to take some, uh, some of Fist on Red and just uh, paint some of the coiled wire, get another color in there. Again, as you can see, the good thing about red is that it's just a, it's a good contrast. And, you know, it's, it's not a color that I have so far on this model, um, which is good, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, let's paint some of the coiled wiring and uh, get that done. This model could already be played in a tournament, right? It's not. Uh, it's not terrible. It's, it's um, just not my usual standard, but um, it's gonna have definitely more than th a few colors, right? It meets more than the three color minimum, for sure. Um, yeah, drop pods are not my favorite model to assemble. If I buy another drop pod, it's going to be like a second hand drop pod. There's always drop pods at my local gaming store for sale. I jokingly said once that they should charge more for the pre-built ones, just because it saves you the hassle of having to build these ones. So what was your favorite, what was your least favorite model you've ever had to assemble for 40k or any other game? That's a good question to ask you all. You know, how was your summer? It's now autumn. That's also what I wanted to find out. How are your painting challenges going to yourself? You know, we haven't been able to communicate a lot lately. I'm, I'm going to get back into this weekly painting. I really am. I just had to take some time off. Uh, it, it, yeah, just, yeah. Um, 
just get stuff done. This time of year, there's always stuff to do around the house. And... Um, I'm helping my in-laws, basically. Um, what else is big and new uh, and exciting? Uh, is it Halloween? It is coming up. A few weeks of Halloween. So in Canada, we have Thanksgiving this weekend. And then we have Halloween, right? Halloween coming up. The end of the month. And basically Halloween is, once Halloween's done, it's eat discount candy. And Remembrance Day is November 11th, of course. It's uh, similar to, I believe, Veterans Day in the States. But it's a day that we remember our soldiers and, and uh, we, you know, we remember. Um, and, um, then after that is Christmas time. So it's kind of like the unwritten rule. Now it used to be that you couldn't play Christmas music or have Christmas, uh, setups in your stores until November 12th, but that seems to be going away lately. Um, like Costco's already had a Christmas section for about a month. It was back to back Halloween Christmas section, basically. And uh, I think that should be banned. I think that should be banned. Now this year I am. I'm gonna proactively. I've, I've made a message to myself that uh, d a decision for myself that I'm going to be one of those people that actually gets my shopping done really early so that I can enjoy the season. Um, and uh, yeah, I've already started my shopping. I figured out what I'm getting most of the people in my life. Which is good. You know? I don't have that extensive of a shopping list. Which is nice. To, easier to relax on, right? But go. Maybe I'll paint these little missiles in the center. <laughs> 15 minutes in. This is good. See? I'm getting stuff painted. I'm really looking forward to switching armies for painting soon. I'm very much in the home stretch. You know, I'm... Uh, very much in the home stretch, and that's what matters. I'm I'm happy with that. I can't wait. I have six Imperial Knights to paint, three smalls, three bigs, and that should take me probably into December. I'm guessing. I'll keep me busy till probably Christmas time or December and then start the next thing. Not the Imperial Knights. I'm thinking the next army that I might paint, I might do with like contrast paints and get them done. You know, paint a whole army with contrast. It wouldn't be my highest standard painted army, but um, it'd be fun to just set up a quick goal and blast through an army. That'd be kind of cool. I'm still probably on pace to be done painting all my miniatures for 40k at least um, by about summertime next year. Summertime next year is, is a good goal, I think. Um, yeah. 
said so my biggest armies to paint that models that I had to paint was Tyranids and Orcs, and they're both done. Um, However, I have a lot of models for the remaining two armies. As I said, I could batch paint most of them. Uh, and paint most of them with, like, uh, contrast. Pretty cool. Um, as I said, I might have to take a step back to paint more Imperial Fists if I buy an Executioner. Or if I buy that new guy with the Giant Fist. And this is a cool model. I'm glad I painted one, but uh, I'd rather be painting an Imperial Knight right now. You betcha. But that's what's going to drive me, right? I want to paint um, an Imperial Knight. And so it will be my reward for finishing up these next two models. And the thing is about the. Uh, so I've just started, I've hit it with one color so far. But um, the Landspeeder Storm has a—it's a really busy model, you know. It has the five, um, the five scouts on it, or six, sorry, six scouts to paint on top of the vehicle. So it's a busy model. Yeah, and there was one more thing I wanted to paint. Oh yeah, there. But um, it's a very busy model. So that'll take me about a week or two once I get some time dedicated to it to get it all done. And, uh, and then we're cooking. I just need some more paint. And then we're cooking with peanut oil. You know, we'll be, um, I'll be in good shape. Once these guys are done, I'm going to paint up some uh, nights, which obviously there won't be a lot of time dedicated, I guess even with my painting of J's, I can still paint some of the details. You know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble all three little knights first, paint them up, and then assemble the big knights and paint them. I'm, yeah, and the thing is, I, I, I'm not done with yellow, and that's the fun thing. I've decided that I'm going to paint my Imperial Knights in the um, Hawk Shroud color scheme. So a very similar color scheme to what I'm doing right now with um, this model. The black, the yellow, some bron bronze. Very similar color scheme. I was debating for a while if I should just do like a, a free knights, free blades, knight army, because my other knights are painted all to different color schemes. But that's okay. I figured Hawk Shroud at least, because that way if I ever bring them to a tournament, I would be okay. As long as the majority of my models are painted to a Hawk Shroud color, no one would have a problem with it usually. Look at that. Okay, so all the reds are painted now. So I'm just going to take an Agrax Earthshade shade and let's hit all these areas with an Agrax Earthshade. Put my power for a second. Yeah, and that way I can get this model done. I'm excited. <laughs> Look at him. 
But yeah, that's good. I'm gonna have a drop pod done, and then uh, land. I see myself using the land speeder storm actually more than the drop pod. I just don't want to paint the model. It's been one of the ones I'm just like, yeah. So whenever I want to, whenever I grab a new model, right? I just previously painted a vindicator, and a couple other things. Um, but uh, I just I, I grab a model and I keep painting, right? And it's just one of the ones I was like, no, nah, I don't want to paint that right now. I don't want to paint that right now. So it's going to be the last model in this batch of models that I need to paint. That's okay. It's good. I need to get it done. And as I said, I'm going to keep moving forward. Get it done. Get her done. Right? Keep in. Just a model I didn't want to paint in the near future. I really do love how Agrax Earthshade works with the brass. It turns out really nice. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, what other things? Baseball. I'm keeping up with baseball, of course. Um, so today's Thursday, and yesterday was huge in baseball for the playoffs. Right? I, like most people, predicted um, Braves versus the Dodgers in the um, in the semifinals of the playoffs, right? The National League Championship Series. But no, both of them got eliminated last night. Kind of huge. Um, the Braves were pretty much done from first inning. They were down ten nothing after the first. I think first inning. Yeah, ten nothing in first inning. Eleven nothing after the second. I'm pretty sure they ended up losing thirteen to one. So the game wasn't even close. Right, and the Dodgers actually had the lead the whole game, blew it in the eighth, allowed the team, to, the Nationals, to tie it up, and lost in extra innings. Um, it's insane. Like I honestly expected the Dodgers versus Braves, and I would have probably expected the Dodgers to make the. I know baseball kind of wanted it too because it would have been an exciting um, Major League Baseball championship. It was like the Dodgers versus the Yankees, for example. And the Yankees are already in. The Yankees swept their series. So they're in the National League, sorry, in the American League Championship Series against whoever wins tonight. Um, Houston Astros versus the Rays, Tampa Bay Del Rays. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see. If Oh, man, if Houston loses tonight, that's a huge one. Because that would mean, you know... Almost all the top teams are gone, other than the Yankees. And I was saying today, imagine if the if the Tampa Bay Rays, um, if the Tampa Bay Rays beat Houston and then beat the Yankees, that would be a hilariously boring. I guess as people would say, it wouldn't be the most interesting World Series, but. Um, it would be pretty cool to see. Pretty cool to see indeed. There we go. I think I, no. Um, okay. So I think the reds would be probably dry by now. I've had them on, I thinned it down with some Lamy Medium. So I'm gonna paint the reds now a shade. And then what I'm gonna do, I cited that today. I'm going to, um, in, in cases like today's, where I'm gonna hit, a, I'm about to hit it with a lot of shade, um, that's something like I was going to give an attitude or something. Um, the shade isn't dry. And it's going to take a while to dry, so I am going to use the magic of television and just um, take a break. And that way I can keep painting for a slightly longer amount of time. Right? I'm only about half an hour into this video, but I'm going to be running out of stuff to paint very shortly because it's all going to be drying. And then that way I can just kind of come back when it's all dry, continue on my video, and um, keep painting, right? That way I can put a full hour in to get a nice, you know, because um, as, you see, as you can see, it's not going to, it's going to only take me a minute or two to put all the shade on. It's a very quick and easy step.
I do like Halloween. I'm gonna. I bought a pumpkin. Uh, we went to a local farm and bought our pumpkins. They're really big and nice. Um, my girlfriend has never, really hasn't carved a pumpkin in years, so she's been very excited, which is fun. That's the other thing. I, I feel like I've spoiled myself over the years sometimes. Do you guys ever feel that? And girls, obviously. But do you ever feel that you spoil yourself sometimes when you... Something that you take for granted, and then somebody your age, you know, or a little younger, just has this unbridled enthusiasm towards something. And you go, wow, that is not... You know, I like I again, I have made... I've done pumpkins uh, several times in the last few years. Like, I've, you know... Uh, but she hasn't done it in, in years, you know. So she was very excited, and we bought pumpkins and pumpkin kits and all these stencils, and she's going to have a really fun time. You know, she even, she likes to do research on things. I'm pretty easy going up, as you know. And I'm just like, okay, it's a pumpkin. Let's store it here, and we'll revisit it in a second. But, um, but no, she was like, uh, She's, you know, did research where best place to store a pumpkin before you cut it and how many days before Halloween and all stuff. So we're going to, it's funny. I think it's cute. I like it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look over there. Yep. And now look at this. It's dry. Ooh, magic of television moment. So let's keep going. So now that all the, the shades are dry, I'm going to start by just dry brushing. I'll paint for the next like half an hour. So let's just do some dry brushing. I'm going to take some, uh, some iron breaker and dry brush the silver parts first and then I'm going to uh, I don't have to that we'll see uh, reds probably I'm actually might keep the silvers the way they are not the silvers the brasses I like that look it's nice that they're just toned down a little bit all right good good let's keep going this thing's gonna look good Ish. You know, I just, uh, I'm just going to keep painting, you know, paint my cares away. Uh, I don't really want to paint that. Lands Beer Storm. Whatever. Last big model of the Space Marines, and then it's on to the Imperial Knights. You know, and then uh, who knows after that one? It's gonna be crazy. Like if I can get those guys done, I don't know. Maybe that's the next summer. I'll be done all my um, my forty k. So, of course, tonight, there's the, the last game of the Division Series. It's going to be um, Houston Astros versus the Rays. I'm curious who wins that one. Um, yeah, I can't believe it. It's, it's just that it's that time of the year, right? You feel Halloween. Halloween's done. And then for us, it's Remembrance Day. Then it's... Then it's Christmas time, you know, and it's, it goes by so fast, and then the year is over, and the year's over, you know, and yeah, but that's okay. It's been a productive year, and uh, it's been a okay year. Some ups, some downs. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to just paint some Imperial Knights for another um, couple months. You know, that'll be nice. It'll be really fun. Good. 
Look at that. So that's done. Um, what do I want to paint now? Uh, reds, I guess. The Let's go back and highlight some of the red coils. And then uh, paint the fists. And then I'm pretty much going to call it at that point, I guess. Because after that, I'm, I'm just going to weather it with some... I guess I could highlight the, the, the brasses, but I really like that the result that ended up coming in. As you can see, it's nice. It has the symbols, but it's nice and dirty. Yeah, I'll highlight up the reds. And then, uh, we'll see. As I said, we'll see from there. I, uh, then we'll, uh, I'm just gonna weather it with an airbrush. I'm using my Badger Patriot Extreme. And, um, because it has a cool sputtering. You can, you know, it, it doesn't, you can set it so that it sput sputters a bit. And it's nice for creating some weather. But, um, yeah, after this, it's probably just going to be a bit of highlighting, um, and weathering. And then we're, I'm going to weather it for a little bit, and then this model is going to be all done. It's going to be nice to get this thing off my, out of my workshop, and then, then Spear Storm. And then Imperial, Imperial Lines. I don't know how much paint I'm going to get done in December, but if I can get my Christmas shopping done in the near future, I know it's only October, but I really do want to accomplish that this year. To see if I can get my, my Christmas shopping done. So early, that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. So baseball, the hockey season's heating up. Leaves are looking pretty good. Uh, new season of letter Kenny comes out tomorrow. So far for the new fall shows, I haven't really been watching most of them, to be honest. I um, Are there any new shows that you guys are really liking? I haven't been watching too many, to be honest. I, I don't know. Uh, my girlfriend really likes that new... Detective murder show where his dad's a serial killer uh, and he's a profiler. I feel it is very reminiscent of the movie Silence of the Lambs. But, um, cool. Look at that. So that is, I'd say, good to a standard of, you know, a tabletop standard. Um, well, I only had an extra 10 minutes by painting lace. It's okay. But, um, so what I'll do is I'm going, oh no, out of the, hip, the fists. We gotta paint the fists, right? There we go. That gives us something to do. We can keep going. We can keep going. I'm gonna take some gray liner and paint the, uh, the, the fist symbols on the imperial fist, of course. Get this to be an imperial fist. Um, drop pod, and uh, yeah, that way we get this, you know, another, another color done. And I'm wondering if that yellow is going to show beneath it, but that's okay. Yeah, it will. Hmm. As you can see, the yellow. Mm -hmm. Not terribly. What I'll do is I'm going to take some white first. Let's take some white. Put that in my palette. 
and I'll do the whites and then above the blacks. That way, so I just gotta do the white. Get the whites done quickly and then paint them. That, there we go. Way to postpone my finishing, make it a longer video. And eventually, this thing is gonna be done. I think it's gonna be done tonight, uh, maybe tomorrow. If I get just about the weathering in. Now it's missing its side. I think that's okay. Um, and uh, I will have a painted drop pod. Cool. For all my space marines, I might put it in drop pods. There we go. So just gonna recover all that the symbol so that way the yellow doesn't appear behind it. screw up my gray that I just did so that I can get rid of the yellow behind it as well. Okay, so now that's done. Let's just let that set up for a sec. It pretty it dries pretty quickly because Reaper paints are pretty thin. I was using Reaper. I can just go to two quick coats with the, the black, in this case gray liner. This should have a nice. I just overbrushing. There we go. A little bit better, right? That's cool. It's gonna be a good looking model when it's done. As I said, I'm just kind of happy just to get it off my out of my workshop. This is a model that I've had sitting around, unpainted, for a long time. Uh, I, had, I bought this just before, I bought a kit that had a drop pod in it. It was like a star collecting kit, I think. But I bought it just before I left Mini Wargaming. So it's gotta be like five years ago. You know? And uh, it's cool. That it's again it's been sitting around my off my workshop. It wasn't it was built. Um, it was definitely I built it about a year ago, I think. And then I just never painted it. And this painting journey that we've been on together, you and me, it has allowed me to just rid my world of unpainted models, right? And that's that's the awesome part of this. Um it really just, I'm, there we go, look at that. So, I'm gonna do is just go over it one more, one more time. It's already dried, where the part I painted over before. We can do that one at a time. And, uh, Look at that. This is awesome. It's turning out pretty well. So I'm happy with that in the end. And I'm just gonna weather it up some a little bit and on the bottom here, make it muddier. And I have a drop pod. Yay. To a tournament standard. I'd say, definitely. Cool, not a model I'd ever want to build again. And uh, if I buy one again, it will definitely be pre-assembled. 
buy one from like my, my a used one from my local gaming store. And uh, yeah, definitely. I don't like building these drop pods. There we go. Cool. So I'm going to stop here and I will uh, come back in a little bit and just show you what it looks like when it's all weathered up and done. And then we'll conclude this week's Painting with Jay. Cool. And there it is. It's all done. I added some just dirt weathering on the top, some soot on the top. Sorry, it's top, sit on top, uh, dirt on bottom, and it's all done. This is my drop pod now. I'm all done. I'm excited. It is good to get it all done and out of my workshop, and uh, it is complete. I'm happy with this um, this drop pod, and I'm excited to next week paint up a uh, land speeder storm, get it done, and get on my way to some uh, Imperial Knights. So, there it is. I'm all done my drop pod. It is complete. I'm happy. It is going to look nice on the tabletop, and it's going to look awesome in battle reports and games. I can now bring a drop pod to a list and not worry, you know, into a tournament and not worry about it not being painted. That's cool. And I'm on my last model next week. Last model. I, can, I want to see how much I can get done over the next week or so, and that way maybe next week I'm putting my finishing touches. That'd be really nice. But stay tuned for more Painting with Jay. As always, thank you for painting along with me and reading your world of unpainted models. I hope you've had a good um, uh, good summer and that your autumn is going well so far. Um, and as always, this video is brought to you by my Patreon campaign. Link in the description below if you want to help support my videos. It's because of them that I keep making these videos. As you can see, their names go by my head. And huge thank you, as said, for all you people out there in internet land for painting along with me. Stay tuned for more Painting with Jay. Until next time, this is Jay saying happy painting.